What's up everyone, this is Jason here. Today we're going to be installing the E-Tech 5 OLED board. Now this video is going to be a little different because we are actually using our video recording equipment that we just purchased. So, on top of this being an informational video, I also want to get your guys' and girls' feedback on the video quality, the sound signature, and basically everything because we did spend a pretty hefty penny on this recording equipment I want to make sure it's gonna work so as you can see we've already removed the grip for a shorter video and I don't want you guys to have to sit there and watch me unscrew the grip so a few things before we start to the actual installation is why would you want an OLED board well one programming is going to be easier Two, if somebody accuses you of cheating, such as shooting a rate of fire that is not allowed, or shooting a mode that is not allowed, an OLED will show the ref faster and get you back in the game. So think of that, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, once the cables, and not the cables, I'm sorry, once the grips are removed from the marker, the next step, which we have done, make sure the battery is out. The reason why if you try to pour, pour, pull sorry, the board, these have a tendency to stretch or you might completely strip them. You don't want that because then you got to get a whole new board. The next step you want to do is you actually want to remove the connectors. Now, when you're removing the connectors, you need to be careful. You do not want to strip them out of the housing. The best way to do this Isolate the wire that you want to remove. Once you find it, get as close as possible. Put one finger on top, slowly wiggle it out. Do not manhandle it because you will strip them. Same thing here, slowly pull out. Last one, slowly pull out. Once these connectors are out, Lift the marker up ever so slightly with your other hand, slowly push from the bottom. And just wiggle it, put it off to the side on a, in a safe location. The next thing, you want to pull out the dummy screen. Put that off to the side, you can throw it away, whatever you want to do. One thing you need to positively make sure now we're going to try to zoom in with the camera on this, so bear with us. You want to make sure that your power button is not pushed in. When you push it in, and you try putting the board in, you're going to hear a little pop, and your button assembly is going to come apart. You want to make sure the button is flush. So, let's go ahead and move the marker off to the side now. So when you get the OLED board, it's going to come like that, basically on a little piece of foam. Take the board, slowly remove the OLED. Now be careful because of the pins. One, you don't want to bend them, and two, they can poke your finger and they don't feel good. So be careful. Now this board can only go on one way, so don't try to force it any other. The easiest way to do this, hold the board on the sides. I'm sorry, the OLED on the side. Hold the board on the sides. Slowly line it up. And just push it down. It's that simple. It's not brain surgery. On this part, we'll get the marker. Now we're going to reverse the steps. Lift the gun ever so slightly to prevent, like we said, to prevent the power button from pushing forward. Put the, bat the battery harness in first. Once it is cleared, level the top of the board right here where my thumb is, the bottom of the board. As long as this is in the right spot, the OLED should go right into place. Now, you do not want your cables all tied up like that. 
You want to make sure that they are clean, that they're not bunched together, and there's no pressure on them. So now we start putting them back. Now, if you cannot get them in with your fingers, hold the wire, get an Allen, and slowly push in. You don't need to apply a lot of force. Same thing. Line it up and slowly push it in. Now, you're probably wondering why I am keep saying slowly. If you break this thing, you're going to get a new board. So just take your time. This is not something I'm going to recommend doing while you're on the field and you're getting ready to play and you want to use it real quick. No, do this the night before so you can make sure it works and you make sure it's not busted. So now we're going to go ahead and plug in our 9 volts. Now an interesting thing, as my phone goes off, sorry about that. An interesting thing about batteries on the side note. Make sure you use top name batteries. Duracell, Energizer, uh, the Paintball Energy. You, you don't want to stay away from no name brands like Ravix or Black, Black Cat. They don't have the amperage you need. If you don't want to get the Duracell or any of these, speaking from a dad's point of view, Toys R Us batteries work really good too, just to let you guys know. So now we'll go ahead and get the camera up. And I will turn it on with the Allen key so I'm not fingers out in the way. Voila, we are live. I'm going to cover that so it's not annoying. Now with the OLED, like we were saying, you have your cap rate, your firing mode, your eyes if they're working or not, ball in place, eyes off. So very, very good feature. Now the OLED board goes for $79.95. It's a quick installation. If you didn't want to watch this video, I got to look at the box. On page 29 on your e-tech manual, it does show the installation as well. Not as in-depth as we covered today. So we'll turn off the marker. Goodbye. So with that in mind, this is Jason with the e-tech 5 installation video brand new recording equipment to help the masses and make everyone understand me and cl uh, hear clean voice, clear picture. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy.